Yeah, this is Chris with CVM Motorsports. Here to demonstrate how you're going to take your MEFI 4 system and change it from a 24X encoded crank or electro wheel to a 58X encoded crank or electro wheel. What you're going to want to do first, you're going to want to take the, con the connectors loose from the computer. We're going to be wanting to work with the white, the clear connector, which is J2. At the end of each connector here, there's little white locks. You're going to pop the locks on either end. This is going to come off here. At that point in time, you're going to take the clips, the little black locks here, and split the case in half. Now what we're going to be working on is we're going to be working on, on pin number 20 and pin number 16. Pin number 20, you're going to want to take the wire that we supplied for you. You're going to take this wire, slip it into the connector on pin 20, and it's, it pulls and locks back. As you'll see, inside on the connector, they're all numbered for the pin locations. Then what you're going to want to do is you'll take pin number 16, which is located at the end on the other side. You're going to pull this wire back and out. You're going to want to take this wire and put it in placement here. I'm using a sample harness so I don't want to cut the harness. But basically you're going to, you're going to pull this back expose the wires, expose the wires here, take this, solder this, these two pieces together here. So what you're doing is you're soldering J220 into J216 and what that's going to do is allow a pull up so that the crank sensor will work for the 58X encoded reluctor wheel. As well you'll need to send your controller to us so we can program the firmware into here or you can order the kit Send your controller in, or when you order it, we'll set it up for a 58X encoded crank or electro wheel. At this time, you're just going to want to pop this connector all back closed again. This wire, of course, will be buttoned up, taped up. You know, obviously, you can get it inside the casing here. You're going to slide the, pla the plastic clip in and lock it down. Sometimes it can be a little bit difficult. Just make sure all the pins are kind of in order. And as you look, just make sure none of the pins on either side are pushed back. That's going to take care of it on this end of the, of the, of the computer over here. The next step what we're going to be wanting to work with is the crankshaft connector. Crankshaft connector on our harnesses are going to be blue, yellow, and red and it's going to be black in color your old crank sensor like this would have been black in color if you're supplying your own gray sensor or you have a problem getting it to fit you'll notice on some of them that there's a key lock and the key lock for the connector is on the wrong side we typically go in here with the set of side dykes and go in there and cut the lock snip it off if that's what you need to do if you're supplying your own connector you can get in here and clip it off these are like inexpensive blue point side dykes. They work really well. We just clip it off if you're getting one from us. You slide this into place, click it, lock it, and your motor should be good to go to fire up. Um, if you have any questions, please give me a call or give us a call. My name is Chris at CBM Motorsports. Our phone number is 909-291-7550. And uh, hope to... Hope this uh, information helps you out. Thank you very much.